Hello folks and welcome to a quick update on our Grey Goose slash Nissan Leaf inverter controller project. So, our prototype of our controller, VCU, whatever you want to call it, is here, wired into the, the car and also wired to our Gen 1 Leaf inverter. We have our computer set up here which has just crashed of course as is its want so let me reset that hey now we've got can messages again so uh, we have this time got the goose in second gear and we have jacked up the back so the wheels can spin also one thing that our VCU does for us now is it is sending uh, DME messages to the instrument cluster so you'll see there now that we have we have RPM temperature some warning lights and stuff like that going on there it's just sending test messages at the minute but it will mean that we'll be able to take uh, CAN data from the inverter in on one CAN bus translate that into messages that the E46 expects to hear and it will be able to use them. So, big announcement for you today is that we now have the ability to send positive torque commands. So what I need to do is, my laptop battery is dying, so I've got to get this done pretty quickly. Um, got to set up our serial monitor because I'm just still just sending um, I'm still, uh, I'm still just sending, I'm really making a mess out of this, I'm not, um, I'm still just sending a text command to send torque. So, for example, if we go minus, uh, oh, Chris, really, computer. Okay, so if I send a negative torque command, like minus 25, our wheels rotate backwards, we just limit that torque, don't want it to speed up too much. But you see there, <clears throat> same as we had before, we're in a forward gear, uh, but we're basically going in reverse. So, what now we can do, come back here, send a zero torque command, and I can now send a positive torque command by sending a positive torque command. I'll limit that down now. So there's a positive torque command. As you see, we are running forwards, driving forwards, that is. Um, so yeah, Gen 1 Leaf inverter is now giving us a positive and negative torque. Um, so we're getting very close to being able to drive the Grey Goose uh, for the first time. Oh, and we can regen as well, so I'll just send it, uh, bring you guys over here. I'm going to send a negative torque command now, negative 10. And we can regen down to a complete stop. So, that's it for today's quick update, folks. The open source Nissan Leaf VCU, vehicle control unit, whatever you want to call it, is working. Obviously, I still have a good bit of software uh, to write so that we can use a throttle pedal, brake pedal to control torque rather than a laptop. Now, <clears throat> some people have been confused uh, as to what this is. This is not replacing the logic board in the leaf inverter. This is controlling the leaf inverter as uh, it would be in a Nissan Leaf via sending it CAN commands. So that's it for today, folks. Um, 
we'll be back hopefully when we're driving the Grey Goose for the first time. Naturally, Mr. Forklift here has to kick off as soon as I pull out the camera, so apologies for that. Um, <clears throat> as always, don't forget to dislike, unshare, and uh, dislike, unshare, oh, and unsubscribe. Uh, we will see you in the next episode. Check the links in the description for the usual suspects. And until then, happy positive torque commanding. <laughs>